Welcome everybody. This would be a medium to a large area possession training today that I did with the guys. And again, it depends on how many numbers that we have. We started with maybe 15 and then maybe one or two guys, somebody sprained their ankle, had to come out. So we adjust the exercise as it goes. But here we have 5v5 plus 2 in the middle. These two, 1 and 2, are on the outside. The team in white here, these guys are just plus players. They always play with the team that is in possession. Now I upped the number in this training to 6v6 plus 2 in the middle. I had one on the outside and eventually somebody dropped out so we just had 6v6 plus 2. Um, and again as a coach you have to be flexible with this. You have to change the exercise, you have to manipulate the numbers, but the general idea and the general environment I create is really the same. So the rule in this game was five passes and then you could score on either goal. And we did play two touch, we did play a little one touch, we played unlimited. I always want to alter the environment that they're in. So let's take a look at this of um, how this un 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 unraveled in training today. So we have the blues are the plus players. And this game is pretty much gray. It is gray against yellow, right? After five passes, that was five, tried to score. Now, normally we would have another plus player out here and then a plus player we see down here with two or one in the middle you could put on blue. And you can see once possession is given up, the other team can use the blue and they have to try to get five passes right in a row. Now, there's a strategy involved here. Do you use the whole floor? Or do you try to get five quick passes between before the team could press you right in the middle and try to score right away? So there is a lot of thinking going on in this game. The clips you're seeing now are, are probably from the middle of the training session, if not, or the exercise, and or maybe towards the end. They struggled with this a little bit in the beginning. They didn't use the full length of the floor, and everybody kind of got condensed in a small area for a while. We had maybe a, a quick, maybe one minute break. We talked about it, and everything got fixed. Because in this, this was a possession game where I allow them to self-organize. I did not give them positions and say, all right, when your team's in possession, you have to be here. You need to be wide. We need two players in the middle and one down here. I didn't do that. What I let them do is judge space and time themselves. If they have the ball, make sure you at least have two or three options that are that are um, shorter options, at least two options shorter. You need to have a longer options. Make sure that you're using the plus players and and so forth. So I allowed this exercise to self-organize today instead of making this strictly positional.